Okay fam, today is cleaning day and this is my reality. Your girl has been booked and busy and housework has kind of taken a back seat to all of the events I've had in the month of April. I've had an event for every month, every week in this month and so I just fell behind but let's get cracking. First up you guys is my master bedroom. The first thing that I like to do it's just remove the items that don't belong. Anything that is out of place or hasn't been stored properly, I put those things in their proper place or in the room that they're normally kept in. And that helps me to start with the cleaning process. Once everything that's not normally in the space is removed, then I proceed with the rest of the cleaning. Okay guys, let me tell you a little bit about this mattress cover that I'm um, putting on the bed. I actually picked this up from Walmart and it is one of those that help to keep the temperature cool or keep your body cool um, while you're sleeping. And it actually does work wonders. My love and I tend to get really hot over in the night. So it is amazing for that. It was only like $19.99, really good buy. And here I am using the fitted sheet clips It's just, as extra support for those rough sleepers this will help you to keep your fitted sheet on the bed without having to fight with it all night or fight with it while you make the bed up it is a lifesaver for me so i picked those up from the dollar tree very inexpensive but they are very effective and they work well Now guys, I'm curious, how often do you change your sheets? I know for me, I change my sheets out once a week and I recommend that you have at least one to two sets of sheets per bed because it allows you to change out one set while you launder the other. And if you have more, then you that's fine, but I don't like to have a lot of clutter. So I try to keep it down to four. I have four different sets and I'll just rotate them out on my bedding and I do that for each bedroom. Now I get asked a lot of questions about my bedding. My bed was from Ashley's Home Store and my bedding is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is part of the J Queen collection. And the color is, I know it picks up gray on camera, but it is actually a champagne or a very taupey color. I absolutely love it and I've had it for almost two years now, but I got it um, on sale, of course, from Bed Bath & Beyond. And here I'm just adding a little bit of a decorative fold to the comforter. I like to layer up my bedding so that if I'm not cold, cold, I can use my sheet. And if I just wanna just lounge, I will, um, as you see later, I will add my throw just for that extra layering. But here, I love these pillows. They're part of the same bedding and it is, um, reversible it has one pattern on the back on one side and one another pattern on the other side and so i just like to rotate them out from time to time here i'm just flipping it over giving it a different look and now i'm going to play around with my throw 
I love to change these out. It's a very easy way to change the look of your space. And I like to give different little folds. Here I'm doing a little angel wing fold. Just ruffling it out. And then I'm going to place my tray right in the middle. In the middle. Just adjusting it, getting it just perfectly in place. And it just gives your space a real luxurious feel. You don't have to spend a lot of money, you guys. This throw was actually five bucks from Dollar General. So not a lot of money spent there. But here I am moving on to the next space, you guys. I have accumulated just clothes and traveling. Sometimes I'm out and I don't have what I need. I'll stop and buy something. So here I'm just sorting out what's new, what needs to be laundered, and taking everything to its proper area, whether it's going in the closet or to the laundry room. But yeah, things got piled up on me, but I am getting it whipped in shape. And the more I clean, the better I feel. It just, it feels amazing to declutter. Still unpacking bags and putting shoes away. I have literally been living in my suitcase for the last month, but nonetheless, we are moving forward. You guys, I did the unthinkable. As you can see, this residue of blue powder over in the corner of my nightstand, I knocked over our sand ceremony, the vase that held it, and it cracked in the bottom and sand went everywhere. So I'm gonna have to try to find the exact vase to fix that. But anywho, I am coming to the close of this space although every space in my home needs cleaning literally I just feel like once I get one down it's like one down and I'm team more to go so here I am sweeping up that to me is always an indicator that I am winding down I will come back after I've cleaned every space and do my steaming and mopping to the floors but this just you guys it feels so good you just don't know how happy I am to get this space clean and here it is yes it is so rewarding to just have my space nice and refreshed and somewhat back to normal aside from my base but I will fix that
now we are moving into the guest bedroom or what I call our glamour girls room. We had a few guests over and I just removed the sheets and literally that was weeks ago. And so this is the state of the space. I, it's just, it just needs to be cleaned. So as you can see, hubby's bag is here. We have, like I said, been traveling, living in our suitcases. So I'm putting his things away. Sorting through everything, determine what needs to be hung and what needs to be laundered. Only to look in his closet and discover that clothes that I laundered weeks ago were now in a nice pile in his closet. I love him dearly, but now I have to fold all of these up and get everything back organized. But anywho, it's part of cleaning day, right? Now that I've gotten all of his clothes put away, I'm going to prepare these towels. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Walmart has some really, really nice quality towels. And I have a slight obsession with them lately. Every time I go in one of the stores and I see this particular color, this particular brand, I buy them up in groups of five. I don't know why, but this is like my fourth set. And I buy them and I'll launder them and just put them away, mostly for guests, but I'm gonna eventually change those over into our main color in the hallway. And here you see me just um, re-folding the sheets. I like to take one of the pillowcases and wrap it around the entire set so that I keep it all together. And I am putting them in the top of the closet because my hubby's closet doubles as the linen closet as well. We are limited in storage space in this home, so we have to just make it do what it do so here i am just kind of reorganizing some things in there looks like i'm having a little fight with the blankets but i am trying to get everything as neatly and orderly as possible i like to color code everything so that's what i'm doing just making sure everything is properly placed in there and i'm gonna take those off to the laundry room and then begin to change the sheets
Okay, guys, and I also get asked questions about the bedding in our daughter's room slash guest room. The sheets are by Nautica. I got those from Burlington. And the comforter set is a Nicole Miller set. I got that from Home Goods. And it is a velvet and sateen pattern, a damage print. I absolutely love it. It is so glamorous and girly. Although this space could be used for both male and female, it does tend to lean more to the feminine side because it is predominantly um, used by our daughters. And so here I'm also doing the layering. I like to give sheets, comforter, and a throw to the guests as well in case they are you know, not so cold or if they're cold, they have the options to layer up if they choose to. Here I'm just adding the pillows, those the throw pillows. I got that set from Burlington and it is a silver tone on tone metallic and I, the blush color one also came from Burlington. The two pinstripe ones is, are actually Christmas pillows you guys on the other side it's like pink snowflakes but I love the gray and white pinstripe. I got those from Home Goods and the one front and center is from Hobby Lobby. It was a Christmas pillow, but I think it's so glam that it could be used year round. And here I'm also doing the same angel wing fold, but I'm doing kind of an asymmetrical just on the corner of the bed. Just giving a nice inviting feel there. And to add something whimsical, I'm gonna add this beautiful little faux centerpiece I did for the spring. Just to add something different. To the bedding and now I am sealing the deal it didn't take much for this space I just needed to put some things away and get some things organized add the sheets and bedding and it is pretty much completed again once I am done with the entire house I will come back probably another day and do the steaming to the floors or either the Swiffer. I'm not sure which one I'll do, but at any rate, I'll do some type of mopping of some sort once the entire home is done. I just wanted to get it nice and clean. And here it is. Oh, Christine, I love these curtains, you guys. I got these from Home Goods, and I think they match that pillow so perfectly. Those tassels are from. Ross Home Stores because I know some guys, some people are going to ask, so I'm going to go ahead and answer some of those questions as I'm showing you the finished product. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you always get notification when I upload a new video. I would love to have you as part of my TMB family. I can be found on other social media sites, TMB Designs 2 on Instagram, TMB Designs 2 on Facebook. So until the next video, you guys, I want you to have a blessed and beautiful, beautiful day. Smooches.